But this TwitchCon, I feel like there were a lot of people that were just there to simply troll. Yeah. And, it, yeah, and it gave like a weird, weird stink to the overall event. I don't know why Twitch just let that happen from the start. I mean, they banned a lot of people. They did. They kicked a lot of people like, out. They did. But also, it shouldn't even get to that point. You know what I mean? I mean, they it, can just buy, they can just make a Twitch yeah, account that's and hard buy to a pass. Preemptively. I guess. Or maybe, maybe there's more. Uh, I mean, the only thing they could do is like ban streaming from TwitchCon, which is so. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, you no, can't. I know. I just mean, I just meant like. It was it was a it was an interesting thing that I didn't even like personally encounter. Yeah. But it I feel like when you it, are at TwitchCon, there's supposed to be a familiar environment. Yeah. You're, you're this is like Twitch is very good at creating a sense of community in the in the entire space, both the community that content creator has with their own fans, but just like Twitch as an entire space. There is like a communal aspect to this entire experience. And I feel like when there are outsiders that come in with like a specific purpose and you always see it, like you see someone in the corner of your eye and they got that look in their eye. They got a fucking iPhone camera mm -hmm. strapped with a GoPro stick and they're like, hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking, ooh, I'm going to do something like, and it's, and it's like weird because it sullies interactions that you would have with other people. And you're there to do that. You're there to interact with other people. You're there to interact with your community. You're there to interact with Twitch watchers in general. So then, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is the experience is universal for everyone. But, like, I never want to feel like, oh, is this person a fan? Or are they coming here to, like, fuck yeah, with me? Yeah, Because, like, when you start thinking that, and I'm fortunate enough to have, like, a shit ton of security so it never bothers me at all. Like, I don't have to think about it at all. Because I know nothing is going to happen. But I feel like if you don't have security and if you're like walking the floor and that's like that starts to creep in, like that feeling starts to creep in, then you're not going to give your best interaction to a person that you're meeting, to a person that you're talking to. Did you try to walk without security? No. I mean, no. <laughs> that's that, that's not even a... that's I can't even do that. They wouldn't let me. But... um. I'm just saying that like it's something that I saw from afar. It's something that I observed from afar more so this year than uh, other years. Maybe Damn. you didn't see that. I don't know. I, I didn't see it. I heard about a lot of it. Yeah. I yeah. didn't see it up front and personally, but uh, most of my interactions were good ones this year. I think all of them pretty much yeah, with same, the exception. Same. Um, but obviously I also, I, I saw on Twitter, there was a lot of, yeah, a lot of this. You weren't the only one. I saw a pretty big tweet of somebody echoing the same thing that you said. I did see somebody that you were mentioning early uh, when the one time Marsh, I decided I'm just going to walk without security out the uh, convention because it was like really, it was like two minutes. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm just going to do it. And then um, there was one of the people that you mentioned like fucking push back past us and nothing happened, thank God, because they didn't know who the fuck I was. Um, but uh Yeah. Yeah, it's just like it's annoying. <laughs> it is lame. Like, do your own thing, dog. Go, you know, go fuck around somewhere else. I don't understand it. Like, I don't, uh, I don't understand why you like feel the need to infiltrate something like that.